Are you serious? Are you serious? President Trump keeps his promise cutting aid to Pakistan. He told them, he told them, well, the United States announced today it is suspending the security assistance to Pakistan for failing to take decisive action against the Taliban militants targeting U.S. personnel in neighboring country of Afghanistan. The State Department's declaration signaled growing frustration over Pakistan's cooperation in fighting terrorist networks. Initially vague information on how much money and material was being withheld su suggested that the primary goal was to substantiate President Donald Trump's surprising New Year's Day tweet that accused Pakistan of playing and uh, U.S. leaders for fools. Spokeswoman Heather Nurent said that the restrictions covered security assistance above and beyond $255 million for Pakistani purchases of American military equipment that the administration held up in August. Also, she made clear that $255 million was still blocked. And the Pentagon said the new action targets payments of so-called coalition support funds that the U.S. pays to Pakistan to reimburse it for its counter-terrorism operations. Defense spending le legislation back in 2017 provides for up to $900 million in coalition support funds of which $400 million can only be released to Pakistan if Defense Secretary Jim Mad Dog Mattis certifies Pakistan has taken specific actions against the uh, radical Islamic networks. Now, none of the $900 million so far has been dispersed at all, says the Pentagon, and the last coalition support funds that were paid to Pakistan was in March of the year 2016 by then President Barack Hussein Obama. But on Monday, uh, President Trump said the U.S. had foolishly given Pakistan more than $33 billion in aid in the last 15 years and had gotten nothing in return but lies and deceit. He reiterated long-standing allegations that Pakistan gives safe haven to terrorists we hunt in Afghanistan. So Trump unveiled uh, in August a South Asian strategy aimed at ending the stalemate in the U.S. war in Afghanistan, now entering its 17th year, and said that despite the sustained high-level engagement with Pakistan's government, the Taliban and other radical Islamic Muslim militant networks continue to find sanctuary inside Pakistan. Remember, that's where Osama bin Laden was hiding for seven years. So Trump is saying, look, guys, I'm tired of paying you guys, and we're not getting what we're supposed to be getting from you. We're, that's over. It's over. Okay? It's over. I'll be back with more. This is part of the swamp draining. This is how you drain the swamp. I'll be back with more in just a moment. Are you serious? I'll ask, uh, well, let's, get, let's get Stephen Bendenoon's take on this, as well as the upcoming meeting with North Korea and South Korea and Russia, Ukraine, the European Union. Jerusalem is now the capital of Israel, the Middle East. Let's get all this today. Stephen Ben Danoon will join me at 12 noon Eastern at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com.